Hello and welcome back to Fair City Gaming. I'm your host Kev and we are back with some more Fallout New Vegas. So we're back in Good Springs after retrieving the, the Rat Slayer sniper rifle. I've just in the last couple of minutes stacked some boxes there on the roof. As, uh, uh, on the dumpster there next to that roof because that'll let us get up there make a couple of sneak attacks. The aim here is to help Good Springs without totally so alienating the, the powder gunners. Uh, pow the powder gangers, sorry. Well, I guess that means. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're wanting to set ourselves in a position where we can get a couple of sneak attacks kill a couple of them before they realize what's going on. Oh, and preferably not do that. Oh dear. We did it, that's fine. Right. There it is. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds. Thought I totally messed that up there, but it's okay. Explain things. I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that, though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. Oh, you can bet I'm coming for my money. Howdy. That'll teach the Powder Gangs to avoid good springs in the future. And I'm glad that business is over. I like it when good springs is nice and quiet. Oh, well, you best get used to that, then. Alright, let's go. Collect some loot. I didn't expect them to have particularly good loot, they never really do. Onwards and downwards, I guess. Actually, we'll go this way and we'll go to Sloan because there's a couple of things we can actually do there. Snake attack. Again, we're going to want to try and keep to this side because this area is infested with rad scorpions. And the last thing we want is to be dealing with a giant rad scorpion right now. Yeah, the aim there for us was to avoid being detected while killing any of the powder gangers. Because otherwise you get a hated reputation with them. And that way when they see you in the wilderness they will instantly attack you. 
And they're not a dangerous fight, though they do use explosives, so you know, they're not to be completely ignored. But here's an example here, that had we been hated by them, these guys would be hostile right away. Never gets old when something blows up. So it's nice not having to worry about that. So it can be established that this is probably the caravan that was uh, attacked by Joel Cobb and his goons. And Ringo retreated to Good Springs. If they were heading this way though, there's every chance they were going to die anyway. Cause as we saw in the first video, there are death claws up this way. And if you didn't think he could take on a couple of powder gangers, well, you can bet he's not ready to take on death claws. So killing these guys actually does net you some positive karma. You eyeballing me? But as I've mentioned before, karma is kinda pointless in this game. Doesn't really benefit you all that much. I mean, it's, I think there's some speech options you can gain. But all in all, it's kind of pointless. I think there are some NPCs that won't interact with you. Or have specific comments that they'll make. Okay, so the generator... 35, I think I've got... Repair that while I remember that. Yeah. Oh, there's snuffles. A completely passive mole rat. It's their pet. Death claws all over the damn place north of here. I'd turn back if I were you. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. It's nice to see things going the way they're supposed to for a change. I'm going to pay you out of my own pocket for this one. Give me your money. I'd noticed Snuffles limping, but I didn't realize the problem was that serious. Thanks. That beast helps keep spirits up around here. So if you ask him, you find out that the supply of dynamite ran out for the quarry. And without the dynamite to scare the death claws off, they took over. Uh, you get a quest from him, but it's an unmarked one to clear out the death claws. We are not prepared for that. I don't even know if we could take out one of them just now. There is... Uh, I think there's about 15 of them in there. So we'll just be ignoring that just now. Careful around these guys' camps because there's usually explosives on the ground. Hey, <laughs> damn. <laughs> So 
So we continue up this way. This is actually the prison that they escaped from. A passive dog. Huh. I don't recall ever seeing that before. So this is the, the prison that the Powder Gangers escaped from. If you come here with anything less than a shunned reputation, you can bet you're not getting in. Hey there, girly. You here to party with the Powder Gangers? That's us. Of course, dynamite works pretty good against caravan guards, too. So, that's what we do. Rob and blow things up. This? This is, or was, the big house. New California Republic Correctional Facility. Not much correcting went on here, just slave labor. One day, us prisoners decided to liberate ourselves. Killed the warden, killed the guards, took over the whole damn territory. Well, I don't know. Depends on if you can make it worth my time. Hundred caps sounds right to me. Quit wasting my Hmm. Go with a classic, let's say. Save beforehand. See if we can't pickpocket that key. <laughs> Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? I'm not quite sure the kind of greeting NCR troopers will give an escaped con like myself. Figure it's better to stay put for now. Yeah, we'll be back for him later. So... Now we can continue back south. Or... West. I guess. Get back to the main road anyway. So all around this area there's lots of different powder ganger encampments. For the time being, they're all passive to us. We'll be keeping it that way for now. couple of locations we want to pick up in the time being. Remember, I think our lock picks high enough. There's always a locked container in here but I can't remember what it's difficulty is. Perfect. Silence the pistol. Nah. We're good. Oh, 
always gotta be careful around their camps. Because that happens. Didn't kill any of them this time though. <laughs> if you're quick and spot them, you can usually disarm the mines, but it's not really worth the hassle. You mess it up, and because, especially because we've got the small frame perk, we're much more likely to end up a crippled limb. There's a dude back here who'll give us a quest. Yeah, that thing's passive. Huh. It's ridiculous. Where is he? Wasn't too far out of the way, at least. Hello? Can you help me? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. You will? Of course, he's not coming with us because why would he? care of these guys with the machete. healing that until we're clear of them. So there's a couple of bear traps dotted around. Use that to repair our armor. This little stash. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's like I lied to us. Normally he's come running up behind us by now though. Ah, oh, here he comes. Sorry I tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there, after I deal with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Okay, so onwards to Prim. <laughs> so we'll get to Prim and we'll get ourselves a nice new companion. It's all good. Oh, we'll stop by this radio shack again actually. I'm sure there's a bed here we can sleep in. Heal our wounds. See if I'm wasting stim packs. Yeah. Oh, Let's go. So even though it's out with the tutorial area, I'd still consider right up till Prim probably being the the game's tutorial. There's a lot more free roaming than the actual main tutorial area. Everything you learn, everything you need to know to play the game right through, you learn within Good Springs and Prim. Oh. And we're back. Hello. Hello. Sure, you're hidden. Run back up here. Oh, come on. jump up sheer mountain sides. I can't jump over this. There we go. Okay, so there was one dude over there which shot him last time, but he ran away. And now we have a companion. So the main advantage he gives us is that he kind of boosts our perception. So he allows us to spot enemies on our little radar at the bottom, the left of the screen there. They'll show up a little earlier 
a little further away. But more than that, he's a bit of a bullet sponge for us. Takes some of the fire that we would normally take. He also deals really good damage as well. See, he'll be showing up that enemy that's on the other side of the, the building. Guy's only just within f range. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. That beat up old pile of bolts. What do you want to know? Not a bit. I imagine there must be some people around curious about that kind of technology. The courier dropped it off a little bit ago. I hope to get it up and running for some courier work, but never could get it running. Don't. You got that old robot up and Well. Sure do. I run the courier office out of my shop. Least ways I did before things went to hell around here. Well, I don't got any work right now, so I see. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Yes, I do. Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had oh, strings yes. written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have from the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. Four shot away. Too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Ain't enough for me to say. Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen. Sounds familiar. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for a supply. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him. And he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Don't go get. Hey there. So before we go and take care of those guys, there's a nice array of locks for us to pick here. Every time we go to pick one of these locks or take something out, we need to make sure that we're hidden. Otherwise, well, it's not worth it. 
someone will come and take all of the items that we've stolen, not even ones that were just located here. So anything I've ever lifted, they'll take it. It's really annoying. Us. Ah, I guess they saw us. <laughs> I don't know what it was brought you to. So I'll just skip through all this. So this time. Howdy. 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 So we'll go and rescue the deputy, advance this quest. So with Edie alongside us and this sniper rifle, this should be an absolute cakewalk. Oh no. It's 
so again it's not one that ends in IG. And some of these combinations will just remove duds, but others will actually replenish your guesses. So it's always worth having a couple of guesses before you start cycling through this. There we go. Open the door. Some medics. So we're going to need that when we get back to Nipton. Oh, that's any use. I know a war. Okay. Even though I don't use any of the ammo types here, or many of the ammo types here, they're always worth picking up because you can sell them. Dynamite's always handy as well. That's one of the ones that's actually a permanent increase. Yep. Always worth using them right away. Right. Now you would think, given the, the fact that this is like a rescue mission, that the hostage would be held on one of the upper floors. Well, you'd be wrong. He's right through here on the left. You don't have to clear the upper floor at all. <laughs> Edie's off. Something's not spawned properly. Where's the other dude I shot? Oh, maybe that's his body that's failed to spawn properly there. Yeah, let's go then. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. My good lady, I believe I may have some information that would prove useful. If you would just untie my hands, I'd be more than happy to share that information I have with you. Yeah. Uh. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Oh, 
Why, uh, of course. Absolute I'll coward. Let you find my kidnappers with my help, but without it, you lead the way. Of course, we don't actually need to fight anyone now. There is more guys upstairs. It's a bit of a waste, really, isn't it? Though we do have an abundance of ammo at this point. Hey there. Well, that was quite an adventure. We <laughs> taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading from boy. Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. So... Hello again. It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good Hey, choice. we met him. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. You will. That's just marvelous. The sheriff that would... You also may be able... So we're going to leave it there this time, but in the next video we'll go and get a new sheriff for this town. And then advance, see if we can't catch up with our buddies. So thanks for joining me. I've been Kev, this has been Fair City Gaming, and we'll see you next time.